Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to discuss more about the locators or the built-in locators that are available in Playwright and we'll discuss those one by one. So in the last video, I have covered briefly about the locators and these are some of the built-in locators. So we'll discuss all of these locators in detail and how you can use these locators to identify web elements on any web page and then do the automation, right? So first one is get by role, right? So what exactly this does is it will help you to locate the web element by explicit or implicit accessibility attribute. Now, when we say accessibility attribute, what exactly it means? So if you go by, uh, go to this particular page, you will see that in case a person has some sort of a disability, right? So how will they be able to access a particular website, right? So any web development that is being done, that is being, or uh, there are some regulatory authorities that will ensure that if you are trying to serve a particular government organization or uh, there is a government website. So there might not be necessary that everyone who is accessing uh, has uh, or won't be having some sort of a disability, right? So in case a person is having disability, we have to think about how a person with disability will be able to access a particular web portal. So for that, these uh, accessibility attributes are added for the particular web element, right? So if you scroll down a little bit here, right? So if we say role locator, right so what exactly the role locators will do is for example the buttons check boxes heading links etc right these are or any of these locators with the role so there is there is a specific role of a particular locator for example the button if there is a button on a web page the role of that is to you know it's a button okay if there is a checkbox the role is checkbox right so some of the web element will be having an inherent or implicitly defined role right and so for some web element there will be an explicit definition of the role that will be defined when the developer is coding that for example in html they'll specify the role attribute for that particular web element as well okay so let's quickly go ahead and see the w3 specification for aria um, uh, role attributes etc so if i go to the this particular accessibility rich when we say aria what exactly it means it is accessibility rich internet applications right so you'll see aria is accessibility rich, rich internet application and what is wai wai stands for web accessibility initiative now this is the initiative from w3c to ensure that defines a set of additional html attribute that uh, attributes that can be applied to elements to provide additional semantics and improve accessibility wherever it is lacking right so that's the whole purpose of it so that anyone who wants to access a web portal even though if they have any sort of disability they can basically access if you have defined these attributes and now in playwright with these attributes if these attributes are defined we can use these attributes for a particular web element to access those web element right for example roles right if role is defined for a particular web element for example it will be defined something like this role is equal to navigation role is equal to complementary then we can just specify find by role okay so we can say okay get by role and specify the role there and if there is a specific name then we can specify it as well for example here right this is the sample html now if i have to see this particular line right this is heading right now any heading whether it's h1 h2 h3 h4 is a heading the role is inherent it is heading okay anything which is checkbox right is a checkbox so for these kind of for some of the web element they the role is implicitly defined right developer doesn't need to define it explicitly so for example if there is a link on a page even if the developer for example these are the links right so if i go ahead and say right click and inspect and see what exactly it is it is basically an anchor right it is a link but there is a, isn't any role attribute defined here right the role is not defined so this is implicitly a link right so you can access this particular link by role using just a link you can say okay get by role and then specify link and then the name of the link that you want to click for example in this case the name of the link is forgot login info whatever the text is displayed there okay if i have to click on register i'll 
I'll say, okay, find by role link. Okay. And then the name will be register. Similarly for the admin page location. So anything. Now, if there is a, there is a name that is, uh, all of these links are, uh, having the role link, right? But then in that particular case, if there is a link which has, uh, or there are two links with the same name, right? And the, the, then there is a, conflict. So you have to figure out some other way to identify those web element, right? So this is basically how you are going to identify the web element using the using the role, right? So get by role. Now, if you see here, we can identify buttons, text boxes, and there are so many others, right? And you can simply go ahead and see what is a specific role is defined for a particular web element, right? If there is an implicitly defined role, right, you don't need to, you can go ahead and directly check, for example, for the buttons for the checkbox you can go ahead and see this list see ideally you won't be needing that much uh, for the automation perspective but it's always good to understand what all um, area attributes are there or the ARI role is there right so if I go to the attributes here you will see each web element can have different attributes right so we can have a list of different attributes that can be defined um, for the accessibility for uh, helping the accessibility right so you can see the uh, the label the placeholder role description these are some of the attributes that developers will use and in any of the page for example here if i go to salesforce and if i right click and inspect you will be able to see these attributes are defined to some of the web elements for example username okay you will see that there is an attribute aria described by okay so i can go ahead and use this to identify this username all right so let's quickly go ahead enough of this uh, you know uh, theory but this this theory is important in this particular case to understand what exactly get by role is all about when we say get by role okay so if we go ahead and go to the what i'll do is i'll simply copy this whole code here okay and i will create a new test in the test folder and i'll say get by role okay test dot spec dot js okay paste everything there all right and now let's go ahead and in this particular test what i want to do is i want to find the element by the role and then click something okay so on this particular page parabank say for example i want to click on this forgot login info by role which is basically the link right so this is a link so i'll say find by role okay and then specify the name of that particular link that i want to click on right because there are so many links so if you just say find by role and then just say link because link is not unique on this page there are many links so you have to specify the name of the link which needs to be clicked right so we'll simply say okay and then here we have to also just say uh, sorry async async we have understood about that that is missing and then we'll say await okay so the next step will be page dot find oh, sorry it was it is get right not find it is get by role okay so I have to make sure that it is get and you'll see the different methods are available right so we'll say get by role okay so we'll pick that get by role and as soon as you will hover over you will see what exactly are the roles that you can basically these are inherent roles for for example article banner alert etc you can start using them right and these roles you have to check in your application right so you from your application for example in this application this is my test application and i know that this these are the links right so these are the links and there will be uh, implicit role for each of these uh, web elements right or e each of these web elements that are shown here okay so if I say get by role these are mostly that are shown here are the implicit one there will be some explicit roles that will be defined for the web elements by the developer you can use those explicit role as well and those will be defined how they'll be defined in the HTML for example here there is an attribute href with some value so there will be you know comma separate or uh, basically the space separated there will be a role defined and then against that role there will be a value defined okay i'll show you that as well so i'll simply click on this with forgot login info so i'll say get by role okay and if you hover over what we have to do we have to specify the role okay so we'll say the role is link all right so i can say okay the role is link and then comma separated we have to specify now because there are many links on this particular page all right so we have to specify the name all right so we have to say 
in the curly braces we have to specify the name okay and what link we have to copy or we have to click on so forgot login info okay and then so we are finding this element right right now now this element would be found by this forgot login info and then if you say dot you will see all the methods that are available okay so i'll say okay dot click and it will click on that particular web element right so that particular link should be open and then close the brackets semicolon and now it should be good to go ahead open this particular web page and find the link by the role link and this particular name and click on it okay so let me go ahead and click on a run so i'll click on this icon and let's see that it is able to execute successfully okay you can see that it has clicked on the customer uh, forgot login info and customer lookup page is now available right so you can see find my login info so this is how you are going to use get elements by role okay so now we go back here and now let's go to the salesforce page here right so you'll see that there is a describe by error right so i can also say this is input right Right. So this is basically a text box, I can say, right, there's a text box. And then in this text box, if I specify this particular, you know, there is a, this is not a specific role, but we can try that the, the, the role that has been described or basically this particular attribute, if this works, right. So if we say, uh, let me change this and I'll paste this particular page. Okay. And then in this particular case, get by role. And if I say text box, okay. I just want to show you and then this there is an area uh, labeled here or or the attribute which says error okay which is not what the role is but this is you know the input all right right or the text box but there are two text boxes so we have to have some sort of different attribute that we can use in order to identify it successfully right so in this particular case, either there should have been some, you know, like text we can use or let's try to use this particular area described by error. Okay. So which would be again, I think duplicate because there will be also described by error, right? So which is also not going to work in this particular case because this is this particular text box is also having that. Anyways, I just want to show you that if say, for example, in this particular case, I want to just have a text box. Okay. Uh, just want to see the text box on this particular page with the role. Okay. So let's see how many text box it will show. It won't click because there will be a duplication, but at least we'll be able to see that the role text box, okay, is available and how it looks like. And we'll be able to detect how many uh, text boxes are there. Okay. It's already launched there. Okay. So you will see that. Let me close it because I think it was. So let me run again. Okay. I think it was already open. So let me run, run again. Okay. Okay. So you'll see that it has launched the application and it has failed. Why? Because there is input value email. Okay. And then input value with the ID password and both of them, right? These are the two values that you can see. These are the two text boxes, right? With the role text box. And that is why there is not a unique web element that has been identified and the failure occurred right in the script. So this is basically what will happen in case the role is not able to resolve. So you have to specify something which has a role, but then that role is uniquely identifiable. For example, in the link case, we have, we were able to put the name against the link that which particular link by role you want to click and which has this particular name. Okay. Similarly, you have a, if you have a text box, then you have to specify what will be the name of the text box specifically. Okay. Now, in most of the cases, you will see that the role will be specifically defined, right? So if you go to this web accessibility guide here, and if I go to the role, so you'll see that this section, right? So roles. So how will the role be defined? For example, this list item. Okay. So role is a menu item, something like this will be defined. Okay. Now with this particular menu item, if say, for example, I have to say okay role is by uh, get by role menu item and then what is the name i'll specify the name of that menu item in this particular case here this is what i did right so specified the name so getting by role will be helpful in many of the scenarios wherein you want to click by link or find the uh, button to to click there are multiple buttons for example right so this button login button and find my login info so i can say okay click on the button which has the name as login or find my login info right so by role button but then name as find my login info button okay so this is how we are going to use the get by role 
locator within playwright okay so this was a bit lengthy tutorial on get by role but you need to understand some of the internal working of the when we say uh, web accessibility right or accessible rich internet applications right so you can understand what exactly roles are and how you are going to look for those roles when you are identifying the locators yourself right so whether you your particular web element has the role attribute or the attributes that you are looking for or not okay but not everywhere it is required there are some implicit for example this is button so it is implicitly understood that if it is a button then it has a role of button so you don't need to worry you can directly use it on the button you can use it on the text box you can use it on the link right so by link okay any link so that is implicitly available if it is not implicitly available developer should be defining it to make your application um, web accessible okay and then also so that will help you to use it in your test automation and get the web element by the role. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.